There are tons of platforms and apps out there, and integrating them with WordPress can be a real hassle. But no worries, my friends, because in today's video I'm going to show you a super easy way uh, to connect your site with more than 200 awesome services, and all this in just a few minutes. So, no more headaches, and let's jump right in. And as you already probably guessed, we need to install a plugin, which allows us to do all that. And the plugin is called Bit Integrations, the one you see on the screen right now. It allows you to integrate your site with more than 200 different platforms. Currently, it has more than 1,000 active installations and only 5-star reviews. It has a free version and it has a pro version. The main difference between those two is that with the free version, you'll get only one active integration. But with the pro version, you'll get unlimited active integrations. Now, let's go and install a plugin which means you have to go to the plugins, add new and search for bit integration, this one here. Install and activate it. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to set it up and how to create integrations. After activating, you'll see that there is a bit integration menu here. If you click on it, you'll see all the integrations you have created. I have one here. And what you see here is a trigger. That is trigger is fluent forms. Action name is active campaign, that is fluent forms entries are transferred to active campaign. Creation date, state, whether it's active or not. And here you can see the info about it. Timeline means logs, how many times this has been triggered. You can edit and you can delete. This here is a free version, which means if I want to create another integration, it tells me that I can't do it because only one integration, the free version, is allowed. I either have to delete it or purchase a pro version. Now let's go to the settings. There is nothing much to it. You can just select whether to erase all the data after the plugin is deleted and after how many days you would like your logs to be deleted, for example, after 30 days. Documentation and support page. And on the top right, there is a change log. Now I'm going to switch to the another site. It has a pro version installed and I'm going to create some integrations for you. Let's click on create integration button. And those are all the triggers that are available. As you see a lot of those here. Trigger is something that starts automation. For example, if I would like to send all the data from this newsletter form to MailChimp list, then I need to add a contact form as a trigger. Basically, all the main WordPress form plugins are here. Contact form 7, Forminator, Gravity Forms, Fluent Forms, Everest Forms. You can also connect it with Elementor, Divi, Gamepress, Cadence Blocks Form. And also you can use a WooCommerce as a trigger here. If you're a developer, then there is also a webhook option for you and you can create custom triggers here. But in this video, I'm going to keep things simple. So I'm going to show you how to create an integration between WordPress and ActiveCampaign. First, as you see, I have ActiveCampaign app opened here. I created a list, monthly newsletter, and I created two tags. First is for those customers who bought the product. And the other one is for the ones who subscribe to the newsletter. Now I'm going to create two integrations, which allow me to separate people's between them. I'm going to go to the bit integrations, create integration, fluent forms, this one here. I have a newsletter form here, first name, last name, email. So I'm going to choose the newsletter form, click next. Now I'm going to select an action. So trigger means basically if this. And action means then that I'm going to search for active campaign. I can change the integration name. And now it asks for the API URL and API key. I'm going to log into my active campaign site. Under the settings, there is a developer menu. I'm going to copy a API URL, paste it here. Now I'm going to copy API key and paste it here. I'm going to authorize it. It says authorized. Now I'm going to click on next. I'm going to refresh the lists, choose monthly newsletter. Customers should be added to the subscribe to newsletter 
tag. I can select also multiple tags if needed, but I'm going to choose just one. Now I'm going to map form fields. And since the email is required field for active campaign fields, first I'm going to map as an email here. Now first name and last name done. I'm going to select update active campaign. Now I'm going to click next, finish and save. I'm going to go to my newsletter form, fill the fields, subscribe. It says thank you for a message or whatever I tell it to say. Next, I'm going to go to the lists here. I'm going to open it up and you'll see it says one active contact, demo user. And if I open up tags, it displays that there is a one contact under the subscribe to newsletter. Easy, isn't it? Next, I'm going to create another integration. And this time trigger is a WooCommerce. That means if WooCommerce order has been created, but I can select between bunch of options, customer edit, customer delete, product creation, and so on. As you see, all use cases are displayed here. But at the moment I need order create. Now I'm going to go to the next, select active campaign once more. And once again, I have to authorize it. So I'm going to add my API URL and API key. Click on authorize. Once again, next, select list. If it doesn't appear here, I'm going to refresh it. Now it's here. This time I'm going to choose a port a product tag. Map the fields once again, email. And it's a billing email here. Now I'm going to choose billing first name. This one here. Next is billing last name and this field. And last one is the phone. This one here. Select update active campaign. Next, finish and save. And now let's go and create a order here. I'm going to go to the checkout, fill the fields, place the order. Order is created now back to the active campaign page. Refresh. And as you see, there is another contact under the bought the product tag. I'm going to open it up. And what do you know? There it is. And if I open up lists, there are two contacts here. This way you can connect your site with more than 200 third party services. You can use a bunch of triggers here. As you see, making integration with the bit integration plugin is a piece of cake. It's just a matter of point and click, point and click. But hold on, we're not done yet because let's get into the fun stuff and learn how to sync your WooCommerce orders with Google Sheets. Oh, one more thing. If you feel all warm and fuzzy right now and you find this video useful, then make sure to give that like button down below a good squeeze. I mean this button over there. Your support means a lot to me. And once again, let's click on the Create Integration button, select WooCommerce as a trigger, select Order Create here. Next, I'm going to select Sheets as an action. And now you need to add a client ID and client secret keys here. If you don't know how to do that, then click on this link here. I already created it. And in order to keep the tutorial short, I'm not going to show you how to do that. But on my credentials, copy client ID, copy client secret key, press on authorize. Next time I'm going to choose account. If this message appears, then click on advanced and click on the link down below here. Now click on continue and done. It says authorized. Now I'm going to click next and I'm going to choose a spreadsheet from the, my Google Sheets. I have created a empty sheet for it. Pay attention that you need to create a column titles for every element. That is order number, date, total payment method, product name and so on and so forth. This way we can connect it here. So I'm going to refresh the spreadsheets. I'm going to select the orders, sheet one, header row is A1, that is this one here. Now I'm going to map the Google fields, that is order number, is order ID, date, total, payment method, and so on. I'm going to pause for a minute while I map all the fields. Well, now it's done, which means I'm going to press on next. Nothing else to configure here, just finish and save. And now let's test whether it works. 
I'm going to open my site, go to the shop, purchase something, place the order, get the confirmation, go to the Google Sheets, and as you see, all the information is here. Awesome, isn't it? Now it's time to talk about the Bit Integration Pro and the pricing plans. If you go to the site and scroll down, then you'll see all the information about it. And also you'll see a pricing plans over here. And as you see, there are three pricing plans, free, basic and agency. And what is the main difference between free and other plans is that with the free version, you'll get only one active integration. But with the pro version, you'll get unlimited active integrations. Three plans, free plan, yearly plan and agency plan. For one site, it's only $19 per year. There is also a lifetime package. And as you see, the prices are fairly reasonable. Shh, listen up. While these are the official prices, I've got a little secret for you. Take a look at the video description here below and you'll find a sweet 20% discount coupon waiting just for you. All you got to do is just click the link and grab that uh, awesome deal. It can't get any simpler, right? Now, this plugin is brought to you by the same team that created the awesome BitForms plugin. And uh, it's uh, currently one of my top picks for the WordPress form plugins. I made a detailed video on how to make uh, various forms and even send PDF attachment with this plugin. So you can catch the video on the screen right here. So make sure to check it out next. Meanwhile, take care.